All right, today is the big day. Today, officially, after one year, you can get your hands on Par for the Dungeon on Steam, the full version. The demo is gone, so if you want to check the game out, please, please, please give it a try. After four years of not shipping a game, we are incredibly excited for people to get their hands on Par for the Dungeon. Hopefully you enjoy it. We've all poured a lot of love and care into this one, so really excited to know what uh, what y'all think of the game, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So. Head over to Steam right now, we'll have a link in the description below, and we hope you love the game. We wanted to capture a little bit of the journey that we've been on over the past year. If you've been following these devlogs, obviously you've seen the progress that we've been making uh, over that period of time, but we thought it'd be fun to go back and show some of our kind of favorite tidbits of the devlogs and the making of this game, where it started, how it ended up where it is today. I think it'd be really fun to go back and let's capture some of those moments. Call them dungeons or courses? That's an issue for future us. Yeah. I was actually already thinking like for names of like a a, a sequel or expansion, it could be like Legends of the Links or something like that. <laughs> 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 or the Lost Links. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> so like in that case you have to use equipment um or like a level interaction like yeah. dropping a grand piano on them or something to cut violent quickly <laughs> yeah. like logically it. well it's, it's the cartoon thing yeah it's about, or an anvil yeah yeah or classic <laughs> dungeons with anvils just strapped to their roofs no matter where you go <laughs> Well, it makes just... more sense than a grand piano. <laughs> you could get us a shout of the work, that'd be great. <laughs> just put in the guy from Office Space. Yeah. <laughs> There's a secret button in the top right corner. You're saying, like, you're revealing some secret tech to everybody? So if you click this, it unlocks the hack screen. Go again. I think it's brighter. Look at the, look at the jaggy line. That's because the bloom's coming on, too. Look at the jaggy line on that. Cody right. Camp is definitely not gonna it up. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Do you like for ants? Oh, that's. Oh! That's oh. A, that's a <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I locked it. it. <laughs> Guys, I did it! <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> oh. Those are spikes, Zach, in case you didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come on. No, don't go that way. <laughs> no, come back. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh my god. I can't, I have to be down there. Wait, hmm? do you? Uh, we can keep the sneeze, actually. You're off the team. But first, I need to tell you about the sponsor of this video the wishlist button. For the low, low cost of one click, you can head over to Steam and wishlist our game, and you will earn. One wish list for yourself. Oh, uh, you have me chilling the wish list button. <laughs> I thought it was Pardon a good me. show. It was, it was good, it was good. And now you've gotten a sneak peek of this World 1 intro cutscene, but to get a sneak peek of all of them, you should go wish list the game on Steam. <laughs> this is what QA looks like. <laughs> this is a place that the team can put up sticky notes as they find bugs, problems, any issues with the game at all. So hopefully, Fingers crossed, this board at the end of the day is not full. Uh, I never looked, but I intended the froggy suit to be the world reward for, for that. The Santa Sorcerer is made before you get a wizard thing. So yes, it does work. But I think the froggy suit's funny. Froggy suit is funny. So the bug is we never made a frog. Yes, that's the bug, the logic of spending money not on a frog suit. Is it ill thought through? The bug is <laughs> Jesse fun time, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny story. Um, 
I had the biggest bug of all, which was OBS not recording. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Thanks, OBS. Yeah, it recorded the main menu screen for some reason, and only that. So oh, yeah, I'm... Joe had an issue like that. Yeah, so now we're on display capture, and I'm trying to recreate my bugs. <laughs> oh, no. I had a fun one where you could uh, get a little magical square that would appear when sw swapping between your grappling hook really quickly. Oh. I don't know how to make it come back. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> it's lost time. Oh. oh, there it is. What? The square! Oh. See? See? Look. Look closely. There's pixels. <laughs> what? That's dust really on your screen. No, look at it! <laughs> I'm not lying. Do you see them? The pixels? Oh! <laughs> oh wow! There's pixels. Yeah, see those like little like bars. Yeah. <laughs> I tell the camera's gonna pick it up. Huh? <laughs> oh, true. there are bars. <laughs> I'm not crazy, you're crazy. So today I brought bagels for the team and I'm a pretty original guy, so I chose a sesame seed bagel. Now I know most people like to use a serrated knife, but I feel like a regular chef's knife works just as well for cutting a bagel. And I didn't want to have a very exciting day today, so while I thought about getting the chive cream cheese, I thought, nope, this is just a little too much for me. So I went with standard plain cream cheese. So when I'm spreading cream cheese, I like to take a big glob at first and see how much of that I can spread across the bagel in one go. So here, I'm just using my knife to spread that cream cheese and nope, my glob was not big enough. So I'm gonna have to go get some more. Perfect, so now we'll just smooth that up to perfection and this side is ready to eat. Uh, on to the next. Yep, so I'm just kind of running through the same process here, grabbing a glob, smoothing it out. Clearly, I can't do one glob for the entire bagel, but you know, at the end of the day, I think that's okay. Uh, all right, so there we go. My cream cheese is now on my bagels. I have a plate, I'm plating it, and here we go, ready to eat. Wonderful sesame and cream cheese bagel.